Hello YouTubers, I'm Justin and today on Dash and Rum we're going to be having a look at a light. Now this is a ring light from Newer and it's for filming and for makeup and all sorts of things like that. So basically like all my videos I'm going to do an unboxing, show you what you've got in the actual box and then we'll have a bit of a closer look at the actual light itself. Okay, so the first thing out of the, the box basically is another kind of box, well really a carry bag, and it's quite a nice one, um, it's of a good size, and basically this will allow you to carry all the um, stuff for the ring light, so that's quite neat that they give you a carry bag. Next is the all important paperwork, and basically this tells you how to operate it, and also the warranty card, and it shows you some of the other accessories you can get for this newer ring light, so that's quite good. Comes with a couple of diffusers, you've got a white diffuser and then a sort of an orangey diffuser and I suppose that will give you a sort of a more um, warmer light and a more brighter light, so that's quite good that they're included in the uh, packaging. Next is the power supply and it's a 2 amp power supply, it's a bit of a brick but it doesn't actually run off batteries this, it runs off mains because it needs quite a lot of power. It takes the standard 3 pin connector which you can use um, any kind of connector that you've got in your location, mine being Australian, um, and it's of a reasonable length. And finally we've got the light itself and as you can see it's of a reasonable size, it's um, 14 inches, um, they do do sizes 18 and 21 but this particular one's only 14. Now you've got your power cable here, as I said earlier this doesn't run on uh, batteries, it runs on mains only. And then going to the bottom you've got this mount here which is designed for a light stand, not a tripod, but you can get a tripod one if you want instead. But in this kit it's got the light stand um, adapter. Then moving further along you've got your power switch and when you turn it it will click meaning it's on and then if you turn it further it will intensify the brightness of the lights and then back to make them dimmer and then further on to switch it off. And then finally you've got your shoe mount here where you can put various things from a mirror, a magnifying glass, your iPhone, a camera, anything you can put a shoe connector thing on you can put in this ring. So that's pretty neat. So next let's um put the filters on and have a bit of a play and see what the light looks like when we illuminate an object. Okay, so we've got the white diffuser on and I've got it ready to go, so let's plug it in and you basically have got to plug it into the mains as I said earlier, so I'll just connect this connection here and then if I turn it on like so you can see that the light's coming on and then if I turn it right up it literally blows out the screen, it's so bright, but you can turn it right down and um, it definitely produces a lot of light. So next I'll just show you what it looks like with the orange filter on so you get an idea of that and then we'll go and test it on some objects and see if it actually works. So now I've got the orange filter on, so basically I'm just going to turn it on so you can see what it's like with the orange filter and as you can see you get that more warmer light and then if I turn it up to max you can see it's not as overpowering as the white light but it gives you that warmer light so it's quite neat and definitely useful for both applications for warm or cold light. So next I'm going to get my test subject and just see how well it illuminates that. So now I've got the uh, camera in the ring light, I'm just holding it on this particular shot because I haven't actually mounted it and basically I've got the white diffuser so you can see everything that's going on and now I'll cut to the actual camera view and I'll slowly ramp up the light so you can see that we're slowly blowing out the subject and we're using the white light at the moment. Um, and lighting is subjective to your own creative needs so if you want to produce something really bright or something dark or dim, it really is up to you because you're the one that's in control of what kind of shot you're trying to get. I mean there are rules for lighting but pretty much if you're trying to achieve something it's really up to you individually. Anyway what I'm going to do now is just switch it to the yellow light so you can see what it looks like with the yellow light and then we'll wrap this video up. Okay so now I've got the orangey yellowy filter on and you can see from the camera that it's ready to go. So I'm going to slowly turn it on and I'll cut to the other camera so you can see what it does to the subject as you slowly ramp up the brightness. So you can see it becomes more and more orangey and probably a bit more warmer and it's good for certain types of shots and just like with the white light it's really up to you what kind of shot you're chasing. But overall this is really quite handy having either type of uh, filter for this kind of uh, work. You can really achieve quite a lot. 
Anyway, let's wrap this video up. Well, there you go. There's my quick look at a Nuon ring light. And overall, I can highly recommend it. If you like filming like myself, um, you're definitely going to find a use for this. It's a great light and it's not very expensive and you can get great accessories too for it. So all round, I give it a thumbs up. Anyway, I'm Justin and as always, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.